widely loathed man now serving a 150-year prison sentence for stealing billions of dollars in America's most devastating Ponzi scheme. The epic saga Madoff makes its way onto the screen, and tonight we're behind the scenes for an up-close look at the tragedy. Here's ABC's David Wright. Imagine going inside the mind of the most notorious Wall Street villain of all time, Bernie Madoff. You want to know how to get people to trust you with their money? The man who stole billions <laughs> got away with it for years. Actor Richard Dreyfuss embodies the man. That's right. Just me. In the new ABC miniseries debuting tomorrow. I ran the biggest Ponzi scheme in history, okay? Within the biggest Ponzi scheme in history. Playing a villain isn't hard for him. I play Cheney. <laughs> Madoff's easy after Cheney. That's right, that's right. The series details how Madoff deceived and defrauded 20,000 investors, including friends, even his own family. This is a man who loved his brother, loved his wife, and loved his kids, and betrayed his wife, his kids, and his brother without even thinking. His wife, Ruth Madoff, is played by Blythe Danner. Danner studied up before taking on the role. You went pretty close to the source. I did. I had the opportunity to meet Ruth, which was chilling initially. I remember feeling this wave of sort of frozen. Did she have any advice for you in terms of playing the role? She just told me that she was numb through all of it. She says Ruth Madoff is adamant she had no idea it was all a Ponzi scheme. And Danner believed her. I mean, she's a very fragile woman, having been through hell and back. Ruth was never charged with a crime, but she still lost everything. After her husband went to prison, the woman who once owned luxury properties in Manhattan, Palm Beach, and the Hamptons was suddenly cut off from society. She wasn't allowed to go to her beauty parlor or this local store that she always went to. People, friends, who were, she lost all those friends. Everything but $2.5 million was seized. She now lives in a modest rental in Connecticut. She walks every day and sees her grandkids and is a very good grandmother and, and very loved. So I'm sure that's a tremendous help. Her sons Andrew and Mark also turned on her. They both worked for the family business, but on a different floor. The exclusive fund with the amazingly consistent returns? That's a whole other business that I run from down here on the 17th floor. In a part of the business that authorities determined had nothing to do with the Ponzi scheme. And the investment services is a, a lie. What are you talking, what do you mean a lie? When Madoff eventually confessed to them, it's a Ponzi scheme. It was Mark and Andrew who turned their father in. Where are you going? Find a lawyer. A lawyer, we're gonna walk around the street and ask if they can represent you? Come on. They say that the sins of the father shouldn't be inflicted on the sons. In Bernie Madoff's case, and they were, they were in a yeah, big way. very much so. And I think that's why Mark killed himself. The stigma of being a Madoff was too much for Mark. He hanged himself in his apartment while his two-year-old son was in the next room. His wife, Stephanie Mack, later spoke with ABC News. I had such rage, I had such anger in that moment, such anger at Bernie Madoff such anger at Ruth Madoff and such anger at my husband at that time. In the miniseries, Mark Madoff is played by Tom Lipinski. We're good at what we do, Dad. So, look, why won't you just let us in? The challenge of the role was to, to come to grips and understand um, just how deeply felt the betrayal of his father was. Four years after Mark Madoff killed himself, his younger brother Andrew died of cancer. Madoff had thousands of victims, among them Steven Spielberg and Holocaust survivor Elie Wiesel. As well as many who were neither rich nor famous. He just needs to be put away. I mean, and I, really, I would love to see him with nothing. Even his own trusted secretary of 25 years, Eleanor Squillari, gave him $150,000 of her inheritance to invest. Your clients probably make $150,000 in a day. In the movie, she's played by Aaron Cummings. Bring in a bank check tomorrow. And I'll take care of you. 
Squillari even served as a consultant for the movie, on set here describing to Richard Dreyfus how Madoff often treated his children. But during their relationship here, he would, he would say things in front of other people? At times he would, yes. If, if, if they crossed him, he would get really mean. You will never, ever be old enough to say go to hell to your father. Never. Oscar winner Richard Dreyfuss says, unlike his co-star, Blythe Danner, he didn't bother to reach out to his character. I didn't. I refused to see him. Would he have seen you, do you think? I, he would have taken a phone call, mm -hmm. definitely. And I said, I decided not to. I made a conscious choice because I thought, what is he going to do, tell me the truth? <laughs> you know, guy who's lied to everyone in the world. Last summer, we visited Dreyfus on the set. Do you know anybody who lost money through? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Personally, I knew people long before I was asked to do the film, and then since then I found out about a lot of people. Almost eight years later, authorities are still clawing back money from investors who took out more money than they put in. Over $11 billion has been recovered so far. Just today, U.S. Marshals auctioned off six pieces of jewelry that once belonged to the Madoffs. His houses and yachts were already sold for tens of millions of dollars, but many of his victims will never be made whole. Bernie Madoff himself is living out his days at the Butner Correctional Facility in North Carolina, where his grandchildren have never once come to see him. I guess the only place that he's considered to be a hero is in prison, from what we hear. Yeah. Really? How do you do it, Bernie? Kind of thing. But that's hearsay. Yeah. Does Bernie even have a TV in jail? Probably, don't Probably. they all? You gotta wonder if he'll be watching the saga. God knows with a 150-year sentence, he has some time on his hands. I'm David Wright for Nightline in New York. And Madoff premieres tomorrow night at 8 p.m. right here on ABC.